Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and we've got another exciting episode of Assemble the Troops coming your way today. Of course, we all know Flint as kind of the leading man, as it were, of the G.I. Joe cartoon and things like that and he was always up front and, you know, kicking butt every time and, you know, he's a no-nonsense sort of dude. You can see, of course, in his original version, got his camo pants on, black t-shirt or shirt, you know, shotgun shells, all good to go. No nonsense whatsoever. So what a great figure, you know, really cool, really cool design. Of course, he came back as Tiger Force Flint. In 1988, and again, really cool design, you know, green, you know, army pants, Tiger Force camouflage top, so they kind of reverse the camouflage, but still really cool, great figure, like you are getting bang for your buck there, so that's your original Flint from 1985, I believe, and of course your Tiger Force Flint from 1988. Then, of course, what happened subsequently? The 1990s. And we got ourselves a brand new Flint as part of the subline of Eco Force. And one would think, hey, you know, Flint has this aesthetic where, um, you know, he's a no nonsense sort of dude. So, what are we going to deck him out in for Eco Force? Well,. Kaboom, there he is. Bright green. Bright fluorescent 1990s green. Now that could not be a more in your face color if you tried. So there he is. Eco Warriors Flint. Now he did come with some accessories, of course, as you would expect. First up is this thing, which is some kind of, let's call it a laser gun. And this is one of those designs that just didn't go away. So if you ever got like a couple of weapons tree Joes during the 90s, you chances are you got a heap of these because they just popped up and they just wouldn't go away. Uh, I remember they came with the Star Brigade troops quite a lot, among others. And yeah, it was just... Wow, this thing again. So that's where it originated. So, yeah, 1990s Flint. 1990s Eco Warriors Flint. From what I understand, there was another Flint that came out uh, in the last year of the run. Um, but, yeah, I didn't get him because, yeah, I just didn't get him at the time. So, yeah. Now, one of the main gimmicks of the eco warriors of course is that they shot water at each other and you can see there's this backpack i guess the idea is that you stick that in some water squeeze it and then it sucks the water in and of course you hook it up to this then you plug it all back in one is a bit fragile being that it's 30 years old you pop that on the backpack and then you plug in the hose. I don't want to force that into his hand, of course, as I don't want to break the thumb. And then you squish that again, this membrane-y kind of thing. And then ideally water would shoot out of this cannon at, say, for example, a Toxo Viper or a Sludge Viper. So basically, You'd be having a water fight in small scale with these guys. Now, one of the gimmicks, of course, and you can kind of see on the figure, is they've got this water changing or, sorry, color changing gimmick that is instituted by the water. So on his leg, um, if you can see that there, sorry if it's not very good. Um, yeah, you can see he's got a bit of a smudgy purple pattern there and also on his chest piece as well. So that was kind of the thing when you'd fire water at each of these guys, that would happen. 
However, of course, firing water at things. Now we did this a few videos back with Tiger Force Flint when we checked in with him, and that is we end up with some rusty screws in the leg and the back. And that's basically what we're here to do today. Now, a while back, we did have a big Toxo Viper extravaganza where we were able to shoot some toxic waste using the Toxo Vipers cannon. Um, now, that was a bit more rust, like a, or sorry, robust, like a syringe kind of operation, whereas this is kind of um, a membrane-y thing. And over time, you know, being 30 years old now, it's become quite fragile. So Eco Warriors fans, I apologize. I'm not going to fire that up today. So I'm terribly sorry about that in advance. But what we will do, of course, is get 1991 flint fixed up with some replacement screws and nuts and bolts and things which is what we like to do here on the show and get this troop assembled so we can get back to saving the environment and you know fixing the ozone layer and all that stuff that was threatening the end of the world 30 years ago which never came to be but hey if it wasn't for tiger or not tiger force if it wasn't for eco warriors flint just think about the disastrous consequences now there were quite a few eco warriors from what i recall now of course i'll have to look it up on like yojo.com or go back through the old comic books and stuff but um yeah i can't really say i recall them i did in the day get the toxo viper which is a great figure so we might have to do an eco warriors and you know bad guys bigs episode coming up soon because the the toxo viper version 2 is really cool and yeah great figure and we've had him on the show before and, and had a lot of fun with him there we also have got a few of the other Cobras coming up. We've got Sludge Viper and, of course, the leader of the bad guys, as it were, which is he's called Cesspool. So he'll be popping up in a future episode as well, along with Sludge and a few other colourful characters. And speaking of colourful characters, my goodness, 1991 Flint. That is extraordinary. That is, like, if you were there back in the night, like, 1990, that was pretty much the aesthetic. Now, we've got these rusty old 30-year-old screws, and you know what's going to happen with them? In the bin. Now, Flint came with this rather silly-looking helmet, and you know what? Let's put it on him. And yeah, like I said, I don't want to get him to hold the backpack, but we'll do what we can. Now, in our last video, we did feature this new special accessory, which of course is a little rubber band, which is clear, plastic, e rubbery. Well, it's not, well, it can't be a rubber band if it's made of plastic but um what we'll try and do in the least worst way possible is see if we can't get flint to hold this thing and yeah i'm not fancying my chances uh, uh stuff it let's just give flint a shotgun because we all know that flint is a shotgun enthusiast so let's just go with that so we've got one of these reproduction shotguns that you would have seen in my weapons bag madness series of videos. So let's get him out of that silly backpack and that hat and just get Flint a shotgun like we know that he likes because he's a big shotgun enthusiast. Him and, him and Falcon, they're just like, yeah man, we want shotguns. So let's 
hook him up with that and I reckon that's going to make him a happy chap despite how embarrassed he is about wearing this bright green suit but anyway that's um yep nah, I stuffed that up hang on let's see if we can't fix that from here hey. but yeah these little rubber bands I'm absolutely loving these um might seem like the craziest weird little thing but you know it saves you from you know worrying about breaking a thumb well, I wouldn't mind, like, if I broke one of my thumbs, that wouldn't matter. But, yeah, if I broke one of these figure's thumbs, I'd be absolutely devastated. But there he is. It's Eco Warriors Flint. Probably not how you remember him, but um, it is how he is now. And his crazy weapon system as well. Yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, Eco Warriors Flint, 1991. What a time to be alive save the environment and always remember to ex recycle to the extreme i didn't really touch on it but check out some of the paint applications on this figure as well like of course there's this cool details on his bio suit um and he's actually got an eco warriors insignia from what i can see on the left arm there so that's pretty cool so shout out and um yeah he looks pretty stoic the um with the the sculpt on the face so that's really cool too but yeah shout out did you guys have the eco warriors or the whatever the cobra equivalent was back in the day did you think bright green was a bit excessive i don't know let me know in the comments below and shout out if you're a massive eco warriors fan like and subscribe as always and i will see you in the next video yo joe Oh, and of course, by the way, these rusty screws, guess what's happening with them? They're going in the bin. Thanks for watching.